In this tutorial, I'll show you how to cause a color to be generated and placed within some area using any of the Office programs. The first thing we need to make sure that we do here is to place the insertion point where we want the color to come in. Right now, the insertion point is in this cell right here under green, and I want to make that over here in this little cell right below where it says this color looks like. Now the program I'm using here is Microsoft OneNote, but it's going to be the same in any of the Office programs. You're just going to have to find where the option is on the ribbon in order to do this. Now in this first row, we're asked to create the RGB colors here for the color red. And we are in a table here in OneNote. And so you look up on the ribbon and you can see that the table tools contextual tab is, is activated and right below that is the layout tab. We click on that. And then there is an option here called shading and shading will put a color inside of that cell. So we'll select the drop down arrow under shading. We're going to come down to more colors. Now, I know that right here where it says standard colors, there is a red just sitting there waiting for me to pick. But I believe that the actual values that shows us this red are not exactly what we're looking for. So we're gonna come down to more colors. And then when we get more colors to come up, there are two tabs. One is called standard, one is called custom. You wanna make sure you select custom and then here are the RGB values. Here is red, green, and blue. Now to make red, we need all of red, so that would be 255. We don't need any green, nor do we want any blue. And the color we're going to get is this color that you see right here. So using the RGB model, 25500, we click OK. And it places that color right here. And we're going to come in here and type the values of what red is. And now the next one asks us to do green. So we'll click in this cell and come up to layout and then to shading, more colors, custom. We want to have all of green, but we don't want any red. We want all of green and no blue and you can see that color here so we'll get OK and so our values here would be 0 and 255 and 0 you'll fill in these others on your own now when you come to questions like this one we're at 137 96 55 you follow the same procedures it's just that you're not going to be looking for a color with any name, but you're going to be looking for a color that uses these specific values. And what you'll do is follow exactly the same steps, and then rather than typing 25500, you'll type in these values and work your way right down through the exercise.